Hello everybody, David Young's here, May 14th, Saturday, 2011, and uh, more fish deaths for you, this time walleye, Ohio. But before I get into this uh, story, you know, I think I've got it all figured out. Of course, they're blaming this on natural causes and uh, the stress from a frigid cold winter, uh, but it's already May 14th, and um, you know, I'm in Michigan, not far from Ohio. And we, we had 80 some degrees the last two days. So, you know, I think I've got it all figured out. It is natural causes, and there's nothing to be alarmed about. Um, but the fish have to die in a certain order, either whether it be alphabetical order or by species. They can't all die at once. So, you know, you got one species dying one week. The walleye wanted to die, they wanted to, but they couldn't. They had to wait their turn. Now, do you buy that? If you buy that, I got some. Uh, I own it, and I'll sell it to you for five bucks, some lakefront property in uh, Arizona. Okay, I want you to read the Hosea prophecy, one through four. Hosea, one through four. Um, I just found this. I'm not even awake yet. And uh, Now, I was just fishing, uh, not far from Ohio, in Michigan still, but, you know, close to the border. Uh, and I was walleye fishing, and walleye were fine. In Michigan, but you know, but it wasn't their turn to die yet. They, that, I forgot, they, it wasn't their turn. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna put the link below. Uh, I wonder what species is next. It's like, I think they must take a ticket and they have to die in a certain sequence. Dead fish in Lake Erie, thousands of walleye mysteriously die. Toledo, Ohio, wildlife researchers want to know what's killing thousands of walleye in Lake Erie that have been washing up on beaches along its western shore. It's a big concern for anglers who come from across the Midwest and beyond to catch the lake's most popular sport fish. And it is a popular sport fish. Here we go, folks. The best guess is that the die-off can be blamed on natural causes, of course, stemming from the stress of spawning in the cold, stormy spring, said uh, Roger Knight. It was real cold. It was like 80 degrees, yes, 82 degrees yesterday. Lake Erie Fisheries uh, Program Manager for the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. It all kind of fits the picture, he said. Yeah, it fits the picture, all right. And, you know, the story goes on. And, um, and now we have thousands and thousands of sport fish, walleye, um, washing up ashore, washing ashore up in uh, on the Ohio border up there. Um, and this is a shame because whatever is killing them, here we go and so you don't worry i just want to make sure all my viewers don't worry and uh, because you know the mainstream media uh, they want you to uh, be safe so here here we go whatever is killing them isn't a danger to people who catch and eat walleye out of the lake knight said no they just thousands and thousands of walleye drop over dead but still good to eat you know folks um and it's just going to keep continuing it's just continuing and I want you to read Hosea 1 through 4. And remember, there's something taking place, biblical, and it has to do a lot with technology and uh, weather manipulation and seismic activity and something. We know God is up there, but something else is up in our, in our sky. Um, something's wreaking havoc. And speaking about wreaking havoc, um, watch the New Madrid fault, uh, zone. With all this flooding and the blasting they've done, and uh, you know, let's see what Harp's got planned for the next few days. God bless everybody, and uh, you know, like I said, I got it all figured out. Fish got a pull on number, and they have to die in order. And we're just getting to the walleye. And God bless everybody.